action. So just really chaos on the water at this point. Danger. This is no game. We're here to do a real job. Adventure. I've been around the world twice and I've seen everything three times. You're listening to Sea Story. Episode 7. This is real. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff Onion. I'm a rescue swimmer, AWS chief, and I'm originally from Conneaut, Ohio. And this is my sea story. I spent about 10 months inside uh, Kuwait and Iraq working air ambulance for the uh, 25 15th NAD. There was a call we got one night for a uh, Iraqi national on board a U.S. Navy ship that was working with us in partnership, and we get the call to go out there. We head out. Our crew is the one that land on board. When we got the call, we decided to take the other crew's corpsman with us. So we land, we drop both corpsmen off, and it became kind of a waiting game at that point, just uh, sitting around. About 15 minutes go by, and I radio the pilot and say, hey, I'm going to go in, I'm going to check on to see what's going on. Our uh, Dash 2 was running low on fuel and we didn't know where we were going to have to take him, knowing that we weren't allowed to take him back to Kuwait because he was Iraqi. So when I walk in, the entire hangar bay on the ship was covered in medical personnel. In the chaos of all of it, I find our corpsman and I grab him by the shoulder and I lean over and I see this guy and they've got everything known to man wrong with him. My original question was gonna be, hey, give me an ETA. Uh, We just need to know if we need to get Dash 2 in here. As soon as I saw the patient, I just told the corpsman, I said, hey, we're gonna pull off deck. We're gonna get Dash 2 in, get him fueled back up. We'll come back in, we'll grab you whenever you're done. And then I started walking around, asking some people for water, because we're in the desert. They gave me some stuff and I asked, can you give us some background on this guy? There was two different stories going on and it was either the guy grabbed the, like walking down a ladder well, slipped, reached up to grab something and a plate of steel fell and hit his head. Or the other one was that they were working on one of the small boats and he was back by the prop working on it and someone hit the starter and started the prop. His face and head were pretty much all messed up. For that mission, we actually had a new guy. This was his very first medevac he'd ever seen. And he was just that deer in headlights look. He's just staring at this guy and he's right at his head because as a second crewman in our aircraft, we didn't have enough seats. So you sat right at this guy's head and he was just in shock. And I finally got his attention as we pulled up And I said, hey man, Nate, switch with me. We swapped out and I got over the guy and I started helping the two corpsmen out. We were just like, hey, where are we taking this guy? What are we gonna do? Let's take him to Buka Prison, which is the first medical treatment facility inside Iraq, which probably wasn't the right place to go, but that's better care than we could provide. So we took him there, we dropped him off. And when we dropped him off, I just looked at my corpsman and I said, we're gonna get back to base and we're gonna come right back out here and we're gonna take him farther north. And sure enough, we got back, we weren't even shut down yet and they called us back out. And we took this guy and just fighting for his life the entire time, we get him back in our aircraft and we push him farther up north to Talil. We did what's called a tail tail. So we took him from our aircraft, put him in an army aircraft and then they pushed him farther up into Baghdad and then gave him a tier one trauma center up towards Baghdad. Not really sure whatever happened to him. To see that reaction from my second crewman, that very first medevac, doesn't know what's going on. Action everywhere, we're all, you're all hyped up because it's your first time doing something and then that harsh reality of this is real just kind of sets the precedence for everything you're about to do. It took him a little bit to understand everything and pulling back, we get back in and just sitting down with him and saying, hey, you all right? Like bringing it, kind of bringing it back, getting all that adrenaline back down out of your body and just saying, hey, calm down. We got chaps and doc right over here if you need to talk to him. 
Welcome to the NAD. This is real life. Every single time you get called out there, you're going to see something of this magnitude. For him, I think it was that shock and awe of, hey, can't you warm me up with like a, a broken arm or something? It's like, sorry, buddy. We never know what we're going to. And that kind of opened his eyes and instantly it was like, this is no game. We're here to do a real job. Thanks for listening, and join us again for another episode of Sea Story. Sea Story is brought to you by America's Navy. Learn more at Navy.com. <laughs>